promised Mr. Firebird we'd come over this morning so I could show him my history report, my calculator, and my Smokey the Fire Engine lunchbox. Here's my coin. I better not leave home without it. Come on, Pep. Let's go see Mr. Firebird. <laughs> Here we are, Pep. It's Mr. Firebird's workshop. Let's go find our friend, Mr. Firebird. Hi, Mr. Firebird. Welcome, Foot Foot. I was just putting the finishing touches on my time portal. Wow, a real time portal? Where can you go in it, Mr. Firebird? Nowhere, nowhere at all. I don't think. You see, it's not meant for actual travel, but it gives you a way to see into the past and the future through the time portal, like a TV set, only what you're seeing is real. Wow, that's neat. As a matter of fact, I was just about to fire it up for the very first time. Here, I'll show you. Great. And then I can show you my history report and my new school supplies. Oh, what was I thinking? I need a coin to start the washing machine. Guess I'm fresh out. Hey, I think I've got something that will solve the problem. Here's a coin, Mr. Firebird. Ah, this is not a mere coin, Putt-Putt. It is the key to great knowledge. The washing machine is providing the perfect ratio between the inverted subspace bubble frequency, the molecular torque, and the spin cycle. <laughs> Holy cat there! This shouldn't be happening! Careful, Putt Putt, and good luck! Wow! It's like a science fiction movie, except I have a feeling that this is reality. These must be the four places where Pep and all my things landed. I wonder where I should go first. I must be in the medieval times. It's a square rock. Whoa, this must be the age of the dinosaurs. I wonder how I can move this thing so I can drive through. Wowie zowie! It's a real live Brachiosaurus! Ms. Brachiosaurus, and who or what in the primordial ages are you? I'm Putt-Putt. And I've come from the future. I'm trying to drive across the road back there, but there's a strange something blocking it. 
That strange something happens to be my tail, Putt-Putt. Gee, if it wouldn't be much trouble, Ms. Brachiosaurus, would you mind moving it so I can get through? Not at all, honey. Not at all. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks! Thanks a lot, Ms. Now I'm off to explore the age of the dinosaurs! Hello, Whoa. I'm Putt-Putt. Do you need some help? Yes, but first you gotta tell me what in the heck is a Putt-Putt? I never laid eyes on anything quite like you before. I'm a car, and I'm visiting from the future. Whoa, imagine that. I'm Will. Glad to meet you. Say, Putt, how would you like to help me figure out how to move this spacious pile of rocks? Then I can build me a bridge and go home. I'd be happy to help you, Will. All I have to do is figure out how to do it. <laughs> Full speed ahead! <laughs> that was fantastic! Stupendous! Putt, you cars from the future sure know how to fix your basic bridge. Thanks! Uh-oh, big time problem alert. Looks like we're gonna need one more rock to finish the job. Don't worry, I'm sure I can find one somewhere. Great! Looks like we need a rock shaped like your basic pentagon. I'll keep an eye out for a rock in the shape of a pentagon, then you can cross your bridge. It's a rock in the shape of a pentagon. Will, guess what? I found a rock, and I think it will fit in the hole in the bridge. Well, what do you know? A gazillion putt. Well, I'm homeward bound. Come visit any old time you like. It's an oil can. Hey, all you bucks and buckaroos. A little on the wheels would do nicely. By the way, my name is Tobias T. Train. But you can call me Toby. Oh, much better. A thousand thanks, amigo. You're welcome, Toby. Say, I didn't catch your name. My name's Putt-Putt. Well, Putt-Putt, my partner, so far you've made a mighty fine junior conductor. Here's your pay. One round nickel. Thanks, Toby. And you hang on to that oil can. After all, now you're my official junior conductor. Thanks. That's the nickel I got. Anything else I can do for you, Toby? As a matter of fact, there is. I'm fresh out of firewood. Can't find a stick of it anywhere. How's about keeping those eagle eyes of yours open and locating me some? I'd be happy to. Whoa! This 
must be the future. I wonder what year it is. Here goes. Now hop in and let's get going. Now all I have to do is get my lunchbox, my calculator, and my history report. So Mr. Firebird can close the time portal. help my you are certainly the fancy carriage i'm not a carriage exactly i'm a car from the future my name's putt putt i'm very happy to meet you putt putt i'm princess chassy and this is my best friend and loyal subject woodward we have been out collecting wood for the blacksmith when a horrible rainstorm hit we were charging back to the castle as fast as we could when I hit a bump and my wheel fell right off in the middle of the road. Well, maybe I can help you figure out a way to get that wheel back on. That would be wonderful, Putt-Putt. Now I wonder how we should do this. Okay, Princess Chassie, here's the plan. You lift up your friend Woodward and I'll slip on his wheel. It would be my pleasure. Oh my goodness gracious sakes. Good thanks to both of you. You're welcome. Now I must hurry back to the castle. My father, King Chariot, is expecting me for story time. And I have to return with the blacksmith's firewood. Perhaps I'll see you later, Putt-Putt. Bye! <laughs> Yes, it is. Only the reins have rusted the gate shut. We need something to help loosen them up. That's what I think. I think I have something that will work. This should help open that rusted gate. Thank yous, Putt-Putt. 
Now we won't be late for story time. Hi, Woodward. Good to see you again, Putt-Putt. You're in for a regular treat, because Sir Poundalot, my friend over there, is the nicest blacksmith in the world, and that's the truth. Greetings, traveler. May I help you? My name's Putt-Putt, and I'm looking for some things. Take all the time in the world. My shop is your shop. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thanks! Woodward sure delivered a huge pile of firewood. Oh, that Woodward. Such a helpful little fellow. Would you like some? It would be an honor to share it with you. Oh, thank you very much. If there is anything else you need, my friend, I shall be happy to be of service. That's very nice of you. What's that you're making? It's armor. Strong, durable, and guaranteed to protect you from the scrapes and scratches of battle. It only costs a nickel. I have a nickel. Here, let's see if it fits. I'd say it couldn't be more perfect. The armor is yours, Putt-Putt. Thank you very much. I've never had my own armor before. Excuse me, I'm... Do, do not tell me. Ah, yes, you must be from the future. How did you know that? You are not the only visitor I have encountered from another time. My name is Merlin. Merlin the Magician? Wow! You have traveled from a time very far away. And like all travelers, you must be looking for something. I sure am. My calculator. It's the one you've got right there. I need to take it back to the future with me. Ah, oh, how I would love so to do that. However, I have a small problem. My battery has stopped working, and this powers my gold machine so nicely. What if I found you a new battery, Merlin? A cosmically creative idea, young Putt-Putt. Can you find one for me in your travels? The battery must have 11 volts of power. Consider it done, Merlin. Well, would you look at that? 
Now, aren't you the cutest little guy on four wheels? What can I do to help you? My name's Putt-Putt, and I'm visiting from the past. I was hoping I could have a look around. First things first, you can call me Miss Electra. And second, you go ahead and make yourself comfy and stay just as long as you ever love and please. Thanks, Miss Electra. I will. For golly sakes! Excuse me, Miss Electra. What kind of machine is that? Why, it's a battery-making machine. I could use a battery for my friend Merlin. I need one with 11 volts of power. You fill it up yourself. Just punch in the number of volts you want, and the machine, bless its heart, will do the rest. All you gotta do is make sure it all adds up to your 11 volts. Oh! Let's see. I'll start with 6 volts. I still need more volts of power, so I can have a total of 11. Five plus six equals eleven volts. That's it! Eleven volts of power. Now I can bring the battery back to Merlin. Here, have a look see, Putt Putt. One custom made battery. Great! Oh, but I don't have any money. Well, isn't that the cutest? Don't you worry about a thing. There's no such thing as money in the future. Wow, I think I'm really going to like the future. For golly sakes! Toby, here's the firewood. Thanks, amigo. Yes, sir, Bob. That feels fine. <laughs> now I'm officially in business thanks to you, Mr. Junior Conductor. Anytime you want to take a ride around the tracks, just hop on my flat car. I'll give you a ride you won't soon forget. Thanks, Toby. I'm sure I'll take you up on it. It sounds like fun. <laughs> Well, Buckaroo, where do you want Hubcap Hill? Here we come. <laughs> All aboard for the old rock mine. Wire clippers. I might be able to use these. All aboard for Hubcap Hill, Tire Flat's very own ghost town. Well, praise be, someone heard me. How'd you get caught in that twine? I haven't the foggiest idea. I was trotting along playing chase with some prairie dog, and I must have tripped. I can't move an inch. Well, my name's Putt-Putt, and I'll help you if I can. I'm Virgil Clyde. I'm pleased to make your acquaintance. And I'll be even more pleased if you can figure out a way to get me out of this mess. You know what, Virgil Clyde? I might have something that will solve this problem. Oh, Putt-Putt, I can't wait. I found some clippers, Virgil Clyde. Putt-Putt, 
You are a genuine hero. Here goes nothing. Well, thank you, buddy. You are definitely my friend for life. I was happy to do it. Now, don't you mind me. I'm going to hightail it out of this here ghost town and head back to Tire Flat. Home sweet home, here I come. <laughs> Gold River, here we come. Hang on, we're headed back to Tire Flat Station. Well, if it isn't my rootin' tootin' buddy to save my life, practically speaking. Oh, it was nothing, really. So, how are you doing, Virgil Clyde? Now that I'm home, I'm the happiest horse this side of the Rio Grande. history report up there on your front window. Well, at the moment, we're using the back side of it as a poster, asking our good citizens to keep a lookout for Virgil Clyde. He's the only horse we got in this here one-horse town, and he's missing. Well, guess what, Lurleen? I already found him on Hubcap Hill. He's already back in the stables. Well, hallelujah, Pot Fright. Tire Flats is a one-horse town again. You go on and take that old history report. We don't need it no more. Gee, thanks, Lurleen. I already found Virgil Clyde, so I guess Lurleen doesn't need my history report for a poster anymore. Now all I have to do is get my lunchbox and my calculator, so Mr. Firebird can close the time portal. Gold's been... <laughs> Here's the battery, Merlin. You are most kind, Putt-Putt. <laughs> and here, my friend, is your calculator. Thanks! Now all I have to do is get my lunchbox so Mr. Firebird can close the time portal. You are tuned to cut. Here we go, Pep. Do the trick and protect me from those stickers. 
ready lunch box. It's Sir Pipe Pipe to the rescue. like I got everything I needed to get. Come on, Pep. Let's travel back through time to Car Town and tell Mr. Firebird. Guess what? I did it! I did it! I found all my things. And Pep, too. Congratulations, Pipe Pipe. I knew you would. Now I can finally show you my new school supplies. Excellent, Pipe Pipe. But first, I must close the time portal for good. We don't need any more disasters. Disasters? I don't know about that, Mr. Firebird. I guess it all depends on how you look at it. Between you and me, I thought time traveling was the best fun ever. Well, I'm glad you had so much fun, Pipe Pipe. But according to my calculations, you're going to be late for school unless you hurry. Yikes, you're right, Mr. Firebird. I'll show you my report later. Here's my history report. <laughs> Now let me tell you what I learned. <laughs>